It's a chronic disease that's plaguing thousands of Hawaii residents. KITV4's Kristen Concilio reports how a group of healthcare companies are banding together to address the growing epidemic of kidney disease. Another dialysis center is opening here in Honolulu, but this time it's for the most critical kidney disease patients who are typically so sick they can only be treated in hospitals. At only 32 years old, Desiree Codero is forced to do dialysis to clean her blood every day since an autoimmune disease damaged her kidneys. Sometimes you're just like, huh, I don't feel resilient to continue doing this because it's so tiring, but um, I just tell myself I want to do it because I want to live. She started dialysis nine months ago and is hoping to get a kidney transplant so she'll never have to get to the most critical stage. Hawaii Kidney Care at Kuakini is opening next month to help patients who can't be treated at other dialysis centers because of their fragile conditions. Far more complex than the average dialysis patient. So patients who require gurney beds to come to treatments, patients who are on ventilators, who have tracheostomies or you know require breathing machines. Um, and so this unit opens up the possibility that these patients will be able to stay on island. Currently, these patients either need to move to the mainland for treatments, get high-cost dialysis in hospitals, or they end up dying. Inpatient dialysis is the most expensive setting. And if you think somebody that comes in can't get placed in the outpatient setting, they may be there for 20 to 100 days. And so if you multiply it out, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's an estimated 5,700 people on dialysis in the islands. The center's a partnership between Kuakini Health System, the Queen's Health System, Hawaii Medical Services Association, and Satellite Healthcare. I wouldn't want this to, to, to happen to anybody. The hope is that the center will free up space in Hawaii hospitals and improve quality of life for dialysis patients. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.